We started with the six inch gun, we got that operational, and now we moved on to our much larger prototype, which is a 29 inches in diameter. I'm ready. We're here to crack the solar system open like an egg. We're building a multi-injection kinetic accelerator for taking large stuff to extremely high speeds and putting it directly into orbit. Hey everybody, let me show you this awesome new space we're moving into. We're here at Building 29, which is a really interesting relic of the Cold War here on Alameda at the old naval base. This is like a 300 foot long concrete tube with this gigantic catch box at the end of it. It used to be a Navy gun testing range indoor. This is the box that used to catch the bullets when they were testing large guns in here. So they would have a huge amount of sand and they'd be shooting into that from way down this hallway. Longshot has to build the largest gun ever built by human beings. We have to be able to show that we can anchor it, that we can charge it successfully, that we can do everything safely. And we have to be able to do that in a place where we can make noise in such a way that we're not going to bother all of our neighbors. It's really impressive what they did here. All of this concrete and all this noise dampening, like it was built to survive everything. This place is just a vault. This is what we're calling our minigun. It is 120 feet long in its current form. Eventually it will be 10 times longer than that when we move it to the desert and build the full length version. Up until this point, the system we've been operating was a six inch gun, 60 feet long, and a lot of things actually translated over for this system. It operates the same, same burst discs, pressure vessels, same controls and sensors. The bracing and the actual putting together of the cannon, that was all new. Today we are mounting the gun brace and the booster braces, so next week we can test with the first set of boosters. The interior diameter of the barrel is 29 inches, and we have six pressure vessels. They inject symmetrically from the sides, directly opposite from each other. We're trying out different angles to try and get the correlation for the simulation. Obviously, it makes intuitive sense that like, if you have it angled, it might be better, but this is way more complicated to manufacture. So we're seeing if the benefit outweighs the cost of manufacturing. These are gonna be fixed in place at a 45 degree angle. So eventually we'll have the braces mounted in the walls here and those will sit here. You'll see some of the bracing down at the other end here as we get to it. Right now we're shooting with just nitrogen. Lighter gases would go faster, but we don't really care about going fast with this system. We will care about going fast later down the road once we have it at the full length. This is our quick release technology that we've been developing. The set you just looked at, that takes about two hours to reset between shots. This one on our test stands, we've modified it to fit onto the gun. This takes about 15 minutes and it's only one person. So this increases our rate of fire on this thing pretty substantially. And then we have our last set here. This is kind of the business end of the gun. This is where our first initial set of boosters, we've gone from kind of that one large kick stage you've seen like on our six inch systems to now doing the side injection. So this allows us to now have a actual breach on our gun. Uh, so you can load in the projectile that way. You can see here, we have our initial set of our bracing. We've detached all of the actual clamping hardware from it. Uh, but from there, we're just mounting it into the building and that's how you're deferring a lot of the force from the gun. So it's how you handle the recoil. And then behind here, you have the actual breech brace. We did our first pressure test at 25% of our operating pressure. We were able to get a nice big boom out of this gun. It was pretty cool. We saw some pretty minimal movement on the system, which is good and ideal. We're, uh, everything's all within expectations so far. No surprises, which is good. As we gradually ramp up the pressure, we're gonna be inspecting the bracing and the welds and the pressure vessels and the building, to be honest, uh, just to make sure that uh, you know, we can catch any issues and make reinforcements or design changes as we go. We got the keys to this place a little over a month ago. It's been five weeks and we've been able to turn this site from a building that's been left to rot for the last 10 years to something that has the world's largest operating gun inside. You know, it's incredible seeing what the team has been able to do to pull that together. It's so advantageous to have this, such an upgrade biggest gun ever built by humans, so that upgrade is pretty sick. <laughs> it's awesome, a lot to do. 
So the six inch gun answered the core technical questions of like, can we inject gas with the appropriate level of precision and timing to make the whole thing work? Now it's make it bigger. Make it bigger and learn how to build it. We want to know everything about the installation of the gun. And that's what we're gonna be doing here.